John P. Holland was born on the 24th of February 1841 in the Coast Guard's house in the Scanner County Clare, where he attended St. McGreehy's National School. Holland's family moved to Limerick in 1853, where he joined the Christian Brothers Order and later went on to teach with them. While studying in Cork, he had an excellent science teacher in Brother Dominic Burke, who encouraged him, and as early as 1859, he completed his first drafts for a submarine design, a design he never radically changed. Holland was convinced that na naval warfare of the future would be won by the country that used submarines. Having left the Christian Brothers due to ill health in 1873, he emigrated to Boston and worked for a time with an engineering firm. He returned to teaching for six years, and while teaching in New Jersey, he submitted his design for a submarine to the US Navy, but the design was rejected. Holland's brother Michael had been introduced to the Fenian movement who had organized a skirmishing fund administered by John Devoy. The plan was to build a submarine to use against the British Navy. His first submarine, the Holland No. 1, was planned in St. John's School and was built in Todd and Raftery shop in Patterson, New Jersey in 1877. The Holland 1 sank on its maiden voyage, but more successful trips impressed the Fenians and they voted to develop a submarine for war. With extra funds from the Fenians, Holland was able to give up his teaching job and concentrate on his experiment. His second submarine, built at Delamater Ironworks, New York, nicknamed the Fenian Ram, was launched in May 1881. Although the Fenian Ram marked an important stage in submarine development, the Fenians were no longer prepared to back Holland, who severed all connections with the organisation from that time. Indeed, 20 years later, he was not slow in selling his designs to the British Navy, who launched their own Holland-designed submarine in October 1901. In 1896, the John Holland Torpedo Boat Company was set up in New Jersey with Charles Morris as chief engineer. Using this base, Holland designed and built a number of submarines for the US Navy. Holland's number six was his most successful craft so far. Launched on St. Patrick's Day, 1898, it was 53 feet long and carried 15 crew as well as a torpedo tube. The US Navy trialed the Holland No. 6 and it exceeded their requirements. It was commissioned in April 1900 as the USS Holland, the US Navy's first modern submarine and the Navy placed an order for six more. As well as selling his designs to the US and British navies, Holland also built two submarines for Japan, which were used against Russia in the war of 1904-1905. He received the Rising Sun Award from the Emperor of Japan for his contribution to the Japanese naval victory. John Philip Holland died in August 1914 at his home in Patterson, New Jersey and is buried less than one mile from where he launched his first submarine. He had devoted most of his working life to the design of submersible vessels using principles of physics which he'd learned back home in Ireland. Modern submarines have evolved enormously since Holland's death, but they still follow the basic principles of physics identified by Holland so many years ago.